Yesterday marked a very important day for all of us Witcher fans. During their pre-E3 press conference, CD Projekt Red revealed the contents of their Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Collector's Edition, which includes a badass statue of Geralt riding on a griffin, as well as a whole bunch of other awesome pre-order goodies. But the highlight of the conference was of course the highly anticipated gameplay trailer, which gave us fans a glimpse into just how epic The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is going to be. Not that we had any doubts about that, but still, the trailer was pretty amazing. Now the trailer had a few familiar faces and a bunch of different monsters, but what most of us missed was the secret message that CD Projekt Red hid for their fans at the end of the trailer. Now, I was able to find this message in one of the final frames of the video, but my video wasn't high enough resolution to read what the message said, and it came out a little bit pixelated and blurry as you see here. Luckily, a Reddit user by the name Zy Lempel, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, so I apologize, he was able to make out what the message said, and most of it pertained to what is shown in the trailer. So for this video, I'm going to give you guys sort of a brief trailer breakdown based on the contents of the message, as well as my own impressions of what we've seen so far. I'll link the Reddit post so you guys can read it for yourselves. There's a couple typos here and there, but I'm sure most of it's correct, so I'm just going to go with what it says. And if you want to see the full gameplay trailer in all of its glory, I'll put a link down below in the description so you can go check that out. Now without further ado, let's reveal what that secret message said and get into this trailer breakdown. Alright, so the hidden message starts off by saying, We've missed you. Oh, that's so sweet. We've missed you too, CD Projekt Red. Today, you got a look at the third trailer for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We hope you liked it. There's so much more in this game that it's just impossible to show everything within two and a half minutes. Still, we tried. More importantly, we just showed you some of the main characters. Geralt's close friends and some of the last Witchers remaining in the world, Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert, will play a big part in the game as well as their famous fortress, Kar Morin. Now I want to take a second to show you guys who they might be talking about here, and I think they showed all three of these guys in order. So this first guy right here is most likely Vesemir. He's a little bit older looking, which makes sense because he's kind of like a father figure to Geralt in a way. So this is probably Vesemir. This next guy is most likely Eskel. He's known to have a scar on his face, so I'm pretty sure about that one. And that would make this last person Lambert. Now just to give some background information, Kar Morin is where all of the witchers got trained to become witchers. And and one day the place got sieged by a bunch of crazy people who killed all of the witchers except for these guys. So it's really interesting to hear that the last remaining witchers are going to be playing a big role in this game and so I'm really excited for that and to see what happens with them. Alright, next up it says, You also got a glimpse of the renowned bard Dandelion and the sorceress Triss Marigold. And if you played Witcher 2, you would definitely recognize both these characters right off the bat in this trailer, so I'm not going to get into too much detail about them, but it will be interesting to see what's going on with Dandelion since it looks like he's got himself in some trouble. And uh, of course, good old Triss, she's got to have some sexy time, so I'm sure you guys are looking forward to that. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably going to butcher this next part here. Emhir Var Emreis, Emperor of Nilfgaard, the most powerful man in the world of the Witcher, also made an appearance. Recognize his voice? Alright, so if you watch Game of Thrones, the TV show, you probably recognize the voice of the Emperor is Tywin Lannister's voice, played by Charles Dance. And I think his voice fits the character pretty well, and just by the looks of the trailer, I think the Emperor is gonna be some trouble, so I uh, can't wait to see how that plays out. Alright, next it says, and then there was Ciri! And Yennefer! Oh, Geralt, you and your ladies. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll start with Ciri. Uh, she's not really in the games, but she is a pretty main character in the books. So if you've read the books of The Witcher, you would probably recognize her in the trailer pretty quickly. But Ciri is basically like Geralt's adopted daughter in a weird way. Um, I'm not going to get into the details of that. But uh, what's interesting about her is that she does have magical powers. She was one of the only females to be trained with the Witchers. And she is known as the Lady of the Worlds because of her ability to go travel through time. So I have a feeling this story is going to get crazy with some time time travel elements in it, because Ciri's a pretty main character and based off the trailer it looks like most of the story is pivoting around her return, so brace yourself for some potential time travel with Geralt. But I had a feeling that in some of the trailers he looked a little bit older, and now in this one he looks a little younger, so it could be something that has to do with time travel. Who knows, I'm just gonna leave it at that, but I think it's gonna be pretty badass either way. 
All right, and Yennefer, Yennefer, Yennefer. We finally get to see Yennefer. This is her right here. She's known to always wear black and white, and she is the love interest of Geralt, which makes this whole story kind of crazy. Look at this scene right here. It just looks like a really uncomfortable scene with Triss on one side, Yennefer on the other. Uh, he's dual wielding his ladies here, and it's gonna be an interesting love triangle because we know in the trailer there's some sexy time going on with Triss, uh, but Yennefer is back in the picture, so I'm sure there's gonna be a moment where he reunites with her or maybe gets back with her or something, and so it's gonna be really interesting to see how that whole love triangle plays out. But this is the last installment of The Witcher games, and you can't have the last installment without bringing back Yennefer, so it makes sense that she's gonna be playing a major role in the game. Alright, next it says, By the way, if you're new to the series, don't worry. The game will introduce you to all that you need to know, and you'll start loving and hating characters in no time. Alright, so if you're not familiar with the Witcher series, don't let that deter you from trying Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, because this game is going to be amazing, and it would suck if you missed out on this just because uh, you feel like, you know, you need to know the whole story when you don't. But just keep in mind that it will make references, obviously, to the previous games and to the books that it's based on, and everything will just kind of mean a little bit more if you're already familiar with the characters, of course. Uh, but you can pick up this game, get right into it, so uh, yeah, don't let that deter you. Also, you've been asking us many questions about gameplay features, and we're finally ready to answer some of them, so here it goes. Yes, you will be able to fight on horseback. The crossbow. Yep, Geralt can use a ranged weapon, because sometimes monsters fly and you can't reach them. Remember swimming and sailing? You'll be able to dive and search for a lot of hidden stuff too. There's a whole underwater world to discover. Horse racing anyone? You also got to hear music from the game. This particular track was composed by Marcin Pritzbilovich and Percival. We'd love to hear your feedback. Fire away in the comments or in the game's Facebook slash Twitter slash forums. Remember, we're always listening, even if we're not getting back to you. Like a good therapist, am I right? P.S. If you're still waiting for more, you are, right? Please be patient, we're just warming up. P.P.S. Have you seen the Collector's Edition video? What did you think of the figure? And PPPS, we've just announced a closed multiplayer beta of the Witcher adventure game. Alright everyone, that wraps up the secret message hidden at the end of the Witcher 3 Sword of Destiny trailer. Now, they announced that the official release date for the game is February 24th, 2015, and especially after seeing this gameplay trailer, I am just so stoked for The Witcher 3 to come out. When I saw this trailer, I was just almost peeing my pants with excitement, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I can't wait for this game to come out. We still have, you know, about eight months or so, but it'll be hopefully worth the wait. And I'm also planning on doing a lot of different YouTube videos for this game because there's just so much content, so stay tuned for that. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. Stay strange, my loves. Go pre-order your copy of The Witcher 3, and until next time, this is Strangelove, signing out.